Friday night, clear. Lows in the mid-50s. Saturday, sunny. Highs in the mid-80s. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-60s. Hey everyone, Digital David here today. In this video, I'm gonna be checking out the DB Source Emergency Weather Radio. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link will be in my video description below. You can see how it's packaged right here in a very nice retail box, walking us through some of the product features. We have tech specs and customer service and contact information. You can learn more about the product right here too and all of its key features. This features a 5,000 milliamp hour rechargeable built-in battery and a flashlight. And we have obviously the radio functionality as well. So let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, you can see we have our quick start guide right here, walking us through product tech specs and operations so we can learn how to use the product. You can see in those tech specs, the item weighs 380 grams, has a 5,000 milliamp hour built-in battery. We can use the solar power, the hand crank, or the USB input to charge it. It takes four hours to charge via USB. We have a built-in LED flashlight with three different sets as you can see, far beam, dipped beam, and mixed beam. After fully charged, the radio can last 20 hours, the LED light can last eight hours, the reading lamp can last 40 hours, radio and LED lighting together last six hours, and radio and reading lamp last 15 hours. We can see from the other side with continued instructions for how to use our weather radio. We have their customer service and contact information right there as well. Next, you can see we have a USB Type-C to USB Type-A charging cable. We have a nice wrist strap and lanyard right here to use. And last but not least, you can see we have the radio. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. Here's a look at the radio up close, check it out. You can see we have our battery status indicator, our charging icon, our radio information. We have our speaker right here with different buttons and controls. We have an SOS button, our tuning knob, our volume and off knob and then AM, FM weather and alert. We can look at it from the right side. You can see our in and out USB port. So USB type C is to charge the radio up and the USB type A port is to use the built-in 5,000 milliamp hour battery to charge your devices. You can see from the back side we have our antenna right here that collapses and we have our hand crank to power and charge the device. We have our on and off button. You can see we have instructions right there. Please put the button to on side when charging, off and on. Here it is from the top. You can see we have our built-in solar panel that is adjustable, which is really cool. So we can actually tilt that up, as you can see, 90 degrees. So cool. And you can see we have another light on the back side of it. Then you can see we have our flashlight button right here. You can see from the left side, we have another light on the radio and then here it is from the bottom we have more product information now let's go ahead let's try it out so first up we're going to try out the radio let's go to the back side make sure we have it turned on let's take the antenna and expand it as well to get the best reception in here as possible now you can see on the front side we can go to our first knob right here and let's turn it on and it's also going to increase the volume you can see we have our charging indicator for the battery lit up that's due to the solar panel here with all the studio lights and how bright they are. We also have 100% for our battery life right here. Now let's go ahead, we have AM set first. Let's adjust the volume, we're gonna turn it up and then let's find a couple of stations and listen to them for a few seconds. We just need some extra cash to help us get by. We should give my brother did. He went to Got Lone Stop. This radio gets really loud. With our bad credit, GotLoans.com. That's max volume. They're one of the largest personal loan networks. They can help people with any type of credit. Get up to $5,000. I'm sure there's a lot of paperwork. Nope. My brother said it was fast and easy. He did it right from his So it's working great even indoors. Now let's go ahead. Let's go to FM. Same thing. We'll just turn the volume up and adjust till we find a station. So you can see we just found a station right here. So FM also works. Then we have our weather band. Let's go ahead, let's listen in. Seven, at Dayton Fair, at 81. 
in Central Ohio, Columbus Fair, and 81. Over Northern Ohio, Cleveland Fair, and 79. At Toledo Fair, and 79. Across Indiana, So the weather one's working great Fair, too? And 80. Let's turn it back down. Then we'll see if we have anything for the alert option right here. We might not. Turn it back up. And we're going to adjust the different options. Nothing is coming through at the moment. And we'll keep going. But we do have that option if available. But you can see we are able to pick up weather just fine. FM and AM stations locally. Now let's go ahead, let's push the SOS button. We have to hold it down for a couple of seconds. So there we go. You can see that's SOS mode right there. And then we can just turn it back off. So really cool, a lot of functionality built right in. Plenty loud too with the SOS mode and the light flashing so somebody can find you and identify you in the event of an emergency. Now let's go ahead, let's try out the flashlights. So now you can see I have all the studio lights turned off right here. The room's being illuminated by a couple of different computer monitors here in the studio and some light leaking in through a window, but let's go ahead, let's turn on the flashlight. There's our first light setting, our second light setting, and our third light setting. Now I'm gonna shine it on my face and we're gonna do that again. Here's the first light setting, the second light setting, and the third light setting. We'll do that on the back wall as well so you can get a feel for the different lights. So first up, you can see it's pretty strong and focused. The second one's wider area and diffused. And the third one is a combination of the first two together. We have the wide area and the strong focus. You'll see that better here on the table. So go ahead, check it out. First light setting. Here's our second light setting. Now it's diffused. And our third one keeps that diffusion, but it also pinpoints the focus light again with our flashlight. Don't forget, this also has a built-in reading light. If you want to use this more like a lantern, you can. Very handy to have this built-in. Really cool. Just go ahead, open it up to use it, and shut it when you don't want to use it. So if you want to have some light in your room, but you don't want to use the flashlight, this is going to be a great option for you. And again, we have two different ways we could set this up. So you can see we could have it propped up this way or this way, depending on our use case. Very nice, super bright coming from the reading light as well. You can see those built-in LED lights. That is not adjustable. What you see is what you get, and you can just open or close it. But again, we have the adjustments for the front flashlight off to the side that you can do the different settings depending on what you're trying to do and navigate in the dark. And you can control your light very easily with the click of a button. Now it's time to look at the different charging options we have with this radio. So first up, we have solar right here. So again, we have our solar panel that we can adjust as needed. And when you're receiving enough daylight, this icon is gonna light up and illuminate for you. My studio lights are bright enough and powerful enough that it currently is illuminating that we're charging the battery via solar. You might be able to see too, I'm covering the panel right now and the light is off. So you can see the lights off. Now I'm gonna release my hand and you can see the light came back on. So that's the first option, we have solar. The second option we have is USB. So we can use USB type C to charge up the device. Again, it's gonna take around four hours to recharge and fill up that 5,000 milliamp hour built-in battery. But at this step, we can also plug in our USB devices in the USB type A port. So you can see we have our phone plugged in and currently it's charging up right now. 77% charge, it's gonna take 39 minutes to get that to 100%. So no issues at all charging our USB devices. And then last but not least, we have that hand crank on the back as well too. You can see it right here. You can get a feel for it in action. We can use this to crank either clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter. And that's gonna power the light and the radio. So if we crank the handle for one minute at a speed of 130 RPM, we can illuminate the light for 50 minutes or the radio for six minutes. If we do the same thing for three minutes at 130 RPM cranking the handle, then we can illuminate the light for four hours and the radio for 15 minutes. So you can see, you can just crank it like this over and over again, and you'll have your emergency power right there to use the light and the radio. 
So let me share with you my final thoughts in regards to this product. Honestly, at this price point, which is the exact same price point as buying an external battery bank to charge your phone, you not only pick up that charging with this, you also get a flashlight, a radio, solar power, and a hand crank for basically no additional cost. So with that being said, it's very, very hard to be critical of a device that has this much value and is jam-packed full of so many features. The flashlight is very bright. The reading light is my favorite feature. It's really cool. The solar panel is great to add that option as well as the hand crank in times of an emergency. Don't forget we have USB type C for the charging. So overall, a really solid device. The radio works great. I was pleasantly surprised. We we're able to pick up FM and AM stations in my area as well as the weather band radio too. SOS is a cool feature too, in case for some reason you're trapped somewhere, maybe in a storm, earthquake, whatever it is, tornado, and there's a lot of destruction around you. Hopefully an emergency worker might be able to hear that, see the light or something like that to get you to safety. Definitely better to have a device like this and not need it than need a device like this and not have it. Overall, very, very pleased. In the future, I'd love to see some more clarity in regards to how long it takes for the solar panel to actually charge this device. I'm gonna guess that's not a very realistic option to completely recharge it unless you have days of sunlight, but I'm really, really happy to still have that feature because you just never know when you may need to use that and now you at least have the ability to have that as well as that hand crank. So they really have you covered depending on the circumstances of whatever emergency you're having. I'd also like to see maybe an increased battery size, bump that up from 5,000 milliamp hours to 10,000. That would be really cool. And I'd love to have that USB type C port support power in as well as power out. So then we could use this to charge two devices at the same time, but honestly, at this price point, very, very competitive for all the features that we get. It's almost a no brainer to just buy a device like this versus just buying a plain old external battery pack since you just get so many additional features. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? And subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. TikTok, Discord, you can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.